Good evening, Fluffs. So today I'm here with you and I want to talk to you. This is not a story time. This is real life celebrity news right here. So this morning, one of my good, good friends texts me. She always texts me at like five in the morning. I'm always asleep. But before we get into the story, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe this video. She texts me five this morning and it's a link about these Chris Brown rape allegations. Chris, baby, you have already been in trouble. So I didn't read it right then and there when she texted to me. I waited till I was, you know, fully awake and able to read it. And I read it. And I became instantly annoyed. And let me tell y'all the reason why I became annoyed. I became annoyed because I am tired. And before I say this, let me say this. Disclaimer. This is my YouTube channel. This is my IG that I'm going to post on. And this is also my Facebook. And I mean that. So I am allowed to have this opinion whether you agree with it or not. If you are a sensible person, you will watch this whole video to its entirety before you make your opinion. Now, I was annoyed. And I'm annoyed because I am so tired of women putting themselves in situations where they can be raped. I understand the whole Me Too movement and I'm proud of every woman that has come forth. But... When you have situations where you personally gain from them, honey, I think you owe a refund to the man. So in this situation, after I read the article, it said it happened January 15th that this girl, you know, was hanging out with him over at like some fashion show. And then they ended up back at, you know, his hotel. Now you can start to see where I'm getting a little annoyed. I paused there because I needed you to think about what I had just said. You guys were at a fashion show. Okay. You had to consent to going back to his hotel room. Now, let me break this down to y'all. I know for a fact that when I'm getting ready to go out, Honey, let me tell you something. I'm putting on my best fashion over outfit. I'm going to have on my cutest heels. My wig is going to be slayed. And my makeup is going to be done. I know that I am getting dressed for every male, every female, whoever want to look. I want you to see all of this. That I come well put together, right? Naturally, when you get dressed and you go to events like this, this is what everybody's getting dressed for. You're getting dressed for other people to compliment you. You're not getting dressed because you like to get dressed. That's not what it's about. So if you know that, you go to this fashion show and you end up in the same crew that Chris Brown and his entourage is in. And you know that they're partying. You know that they're drinking. There might be drugs. It's a see no evil, hear no evil, and speak no evil type of situation. Right? I've been to a few industry parties in my day. And let me tell you, that's exactly what it is. Now, again, you didn't set yourself up because you didn't got your finest fashion over on. You looking good. You looking cute. And you know that these men are noticing you. And you get this invitation. You come on over and you say, okay, well, I'm going to party with y'all. And then they say, well, let's take the party back to the tour bus, back to the hotel, back to my house. Sis, pause. You can't sit here and tell me that you didn't help play a role in setting yourself up. I'm sorry for those of you who might be upset with my opinion, but understand this. As a woman, you have to take care of yourself. Can't nobody take care of you like you can take care of you. But if you're going to put yourself in situations, understand that these are the repercussions that come along with it. And I mean this when I say it. As a woman, I know that when I get dressed and I put on my clothes and then I say, well, let me go to this club and people are looking at me. I know I run that risk. There's a risk and it shouldn't have to be a risk, but there is. That is the world we live in. If you don't understand that by now, then honey, you just slow, stupid and sweet to the point where you can't even be no more. 
You got to be that dumb. You got to be that sweet and naive to believe that someone is not going to try and take advantage of you. When you get dressed, you have now made yourself vulnerable to all that comes along with it. I'm not excusing nobody's behavior. I'm not excusing Chris Brown's behavior if he really did rape that girl. Because at the end of the day, no fucking means no. And I understand that. And I would hope that any man would understand that when she says no, it means no. Whether or not the situation was when she got there, it was consensual. And then all of a sudden she decided she didn't want to be there no more. But what I am saying is that at what point does America, America, because this is starting to become a trend. What point does America take a look back and say, how did this situation get set up? Well, let's start with sis's outfit. Let's start with what her intentions were. Because I know you don't believe that Chris Brown invited you back to his hotel room to have no crumpets and no tea cakes, boo. I know you didn't think you was finna go get omelets and Belgian waffles. Now, you could have got all of that the next morning. I'm just gonna be real. And the reason why I say that is because, let me tell y'all something. If Chris Brown... One, Drake, two, August Alcina, three, Luke James, four, Trey Songs, five. If any of them five see me popping that ass or doing whatever I'm doing at the club and say, hey, you want to come party? I sure do. I sure do. Okay, you do drugs. I don't do drugs, but I drink. Oh, you smoke? I don't smoke, but uh, I'll watch you and we still gonna have a good time. And then they say, okay, well, Fluffy, let's go on back to the hotel room. Oh, it's that kind of party because <laughs> I came prepared. Understand this. I know what risk I'm taking the moment that I said yes. Because I promise you, if any of them five that I mentioned call me back, and tell me to go to the hotel room, go to the, tr you know, the, uh, the tour bus. If they tell me to go to any of that, I ain't leaving till I'm pregnant by any of them five. I will gladly have their children. Hmm. So again, I knew what it was when I got dressed. I knew when I got dressed that I knew I wanted people to look at this body. You cannot tell me that you get dressed and you, some women will holler, oh, I got dressed for my own self-esteem so I can look good for me. Girl, please. You gonna compliment yourself all you want to, but ain't nobody gonna compliment you like everybody else. So please do not run that game up on me talking about, oh, I'm, I did this for me. I didn't know you did this for the compliments that you're gonna receive from everybody else. It's okay to admit that. It is okay. It's 2019. It is okay to admit that. But it also needs to be okay that we need to start holding some of these women accountable for their actions and the roles that they play and putting themselves in situations where they can be raped. That's, excuse me, let me comment on this. That's like taking your 17-year-old daughter to a R. Kelly concert. Where they do that at? You might think, where they do that at? But you know what? It's people really doing it. It's people really putting themselves in situations to get raped. Now, again, I'm not excusing no man's behavior because no means no. I'm not excusing nobody's behavior. But I am saying that as a woman, you must protect yourself at any means necessary by any cost. Do not set yourself up. Do not put yourself in a situation that says, hey, look at me and I want to go back to your hotel room, but I thought we was just going to talk. Girl, please. Now, if I was on Chris Brown's defense team, those would be the kind of questions that I would be ramming up homegirl's ass. Excuse me. I have some things to say. I have some questions because I don't understand what you thought was supposed to happen at a hotel room. You thought y'all was going to have a sleepover? You thought you was finna order some pizza? You thought y'all was going to have some soda and popcorn, sis? I know you didn't think that. You set yourself up, sis. And now 
because it's Chris Brown. Oh my God, I was raped. I was this. And again, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to de-victimize the victim. I'm not. The point of this message is to understand that as a woman, you must take certain precautions. Point blank, period. It doesn't matter if you with the guy you met on Tinder or BLK, whatever you want. It doesn't matter if you hanging out with any of the celebrities that I mentioned. When you do that type of stuff, when you exhibit in that type of behavior in their heads, it's okay because you've sent the mixed signal. You sent it. And I'm just tired of seeing that trend. Case in point, we sent Bill Cosby old ass to prison and he dying and stuff. Why? All because of a lady 20 some odd years ago, like he slipped something in my drink. Sis, was that before or after he paid you? Because you said you got paid out like twice. You said he, he, he was knocking off the hundos, basically. You got some thousands from it. Are you going to refund him his money while he in jail? Because now he in jail for something that he did so long ago. And I'm again, I'm not trying to excuse nobody's behavior. But sis, when you use somebody's name against them and you take them to court and you publicly defame them, you basically shame them for who they are and what they've done. You owe him some money because you benefited from the actions that he took. Bill Cosby put this girl on the map, gave her some money. If he's going to give her some money, come on now. But she didn't refund him his money. She did not take the money. She took the money, stayed silent for 20 years, and you wait till the man on his deathbed damn near to say, oh my God, Bill Cosby slipped something in my drink. What? And again, I'm not trying to de-victimize her, but at the same time, sis, you set yourself up because then you turned around and said, oh, and then after he did it the first time, I went over there two, three times. What? What? It benefited your career, sis, and that's why you did it. But you need to take accountability that you let it benefit from it. If you didn't want nothing to do with him, why would you go back? Why? That's like saying, I know this man is a predator next door. I'm going to take my kids next door and leave them unattended. You don't think that predator not going to try your kids? What you think your kids is exempt? child mm -mm, it's 2019 everybody need to be held accountable for their actions point blank period i do not care if you do not like it hey sweetie i'm sorry it is what it is but again i am not dehumanizing or de-victimizing anyone all i'm saying is that at some point we have to hold everyone in in that situation accountable for their actions we do and I think it's only fair that we do so if we're gonna say okay well Chris Brown this was to blame X Y and Z so at some part you played a role in that and I'm sorry it'd be different if you know you was outside walking to your car and Chris Brown ran up on you knocked you in the head and then raped you that's a whole different story you know, or he was stalking you and then he broke into your house and then he raped you. That's a different story. In those situations, you didn't set yourself up. In those situations, you became a, a victim of someone else's madness. You became a victim of someone else's madness. But in this case, you set yourself up. I know you didn't think he was going to be his girlfriend. I know you didn't think y'all was going to really just say, let's order pancakes and chicken. I know that you didn't think that you were going to go over there and nothing was going to go down. That's the part that I'm having a hard time believe. So until they have some DNA, if they, until they, that D, you know, deoxyribose nucleic acid pop up and say, yeah, it was forceful X, Y, and Z. I'm sorry. I'm just not going to believe that Chris Brown raped anybody. I understand that Chris Brown might put, put his paws on you. I understand he might he might whip your ass. He might throw a brick at your car like he did his mama. But I really and truthfully be told, don't believe that he would really rape anybody. I'm not the biggest fan of Chris Brown. I only know a few songs by Chris Brown. I'm just stating what's obvious. You can hate me or not hate me. It's cool. But thanks for watching. If you like this video, please make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe.